Lapsus, a hacking group supposedly run by teenagers from UK and Brazil, has been around for less than a year but already carried out several high-profile hacks. They hacked ministries in Brazil, companies like Uber, Samsung and Microsoft and just leaked stolen footage of the long-awaited blockbuster game Grand Theft Auto 6. How can teenagers hack some of the biggest tech companies of the world? Who is this group and what are they trying to achieve? This month alone, unorthodox hacking group Lapsus claims to be responsible for hacks of gaming company Rockstar, leaking information on the newest edition of the famous GTA saga and supposedly stealing the source code for the in-development game. And mobility service provider Uber, where the group announced the hack in an internal chat. Not very subtle. Lapsus are a, a data leak extortion gang, uh, and they're mostly known for their social engineering, so sort of kind of sophisticated social engineering attacks. So that includes kind of SIM swapping attacks, um, bypassing multi-factor authentication, going after help desks and, and kind of tricking um, help desk employees and even recruiting insiders at targeted organizations as well. Um, and this has resulted in some, some quite significant successes for the group who've managed to compromise the networks of, like I say, some, some really high-end technology companies, uh, many of which will undoubtedly have you know, big security budgets. Most of Lapsus members are assumed to be teenagers, with many of them located in the United Kingdom and Brazil. The group seems to consist of a non-hierarchical model with members being scattered across the globe. In March 2022, British police arrested seven people between the ages of 16 and 21 in connection with an investigation into a hacking group. They have all been released under investigation. Our inquiries remain ongoing. It is suspected that one of them was a 16-year-old from Oxford who is claimed to be one of the core members of the group. He is said to have accumulated 300 Bitcoin with ransomware attacks, which at the time was about 30 million US dollars. You know, it's these social engineering tactics that focus on um, human curiosities that they seem to be quite proficient in. You know, these companies have got really good, significant security controls in place to mitigate you know, many other types of, of entry. But ultimately, you know, the human is the, the weak link, which is something that these, these teenagers are able to kind of um, focus in on. So it's basic stuff, uh, but you have to have someone daring enough to find it in the first place, which I guess in these um, times, you know, perhaps teenagers are a little bit more daring in what they're, they're, they're hoping to achieve. Is Lapsus a politically motivated hacktivist collective? Are they coordinated in their efforts and aims? Well, the group is making various demands. They ask for money, for companies to switch to open source, Lapsus even published the COVID-19 vaccination data of millions when they hacked the Brazilian Ministry of Health in December 2021. Not very community oriented. They often state that they are only after money. Their motivation doesn't appear to be 100% financial. I think that they're doing many of these attacks purely for their own amusement or um, for the lulls, if you want to call it that. Uh, with Rockstar Games, I imagine it's because they were interested in you know, this this launch of this Grand Theft Auto title um, and they just wanted some insider information and then to share that with the world. Uh, but it's mostly because, like I say, they, they, they just can do this and it's it's highly amusing to them. Let's just set up an email address for journalists to contact them for interviews. So far, they have not reacted to our messages. Whether Lapsus is going to be dangerous for all of us in the future remains unclear. They use unconventional methods to find their targets and don't back off when sensible data such as vaccination statuses are compromised. On the other hand, even though they are very creative, they heavily rely on classic attack tactics. These should be avoidable with a well-functioning cybersecurity setup in place. And the FBI is already after them. Although many of their members are young and likely inexperienced, um, they can still achieve a particularly impactful attack, um, given the sort of financial, regulatory, or you know even the reputational impact that follows one of their attacks. So, yes, I would say they were dangerous. Whatever you think about lapses, they are always ready to make a splash. That's it for today. See you next time.